how y'all doing? Happy, happy Thursday. It's been quite a long time since we've been on uh, the video for you guys. I apologize. My bad. Um, anyway, I'm going to start with a little tune as we always do. This one is a shout out to my buddy Narendra, Dr. Reddy's. It's time for some tips doing chromatography. From your friends at Sortec. All right. So, what do we got today for you? First of all, I've got Matt Curry. Hi, Dave. Hey, Matt. And Matt is our new account manager, product specialist for Sorbonne Technologies in the Mid Atlantic region and he'll also help with other activities. Matt's got 20 years of bench experience, masters in chemistry. He is an organic genius when it comes to purification. That's right, Randy, big eyes and all, <laughs> organic genius. Woo, woo. And he will definitely uh, be available for assistance in helping you optimize and to uh, do method development for your compounds. Um, anyway, so what we decided to do last time, if you recall, we were talking about TLC to flash cartridges. And since, ooh, excuse me, since I have Matt here, um, we figured we'd talk a little bit about TLC. Matt would give you some of his own thoughts on um, basic spotting techniques, uh, concentration zones, uh, solvent optimization, and uh, maybe using different types of compounds and also different type of modified layers. And then from there, we're going to talk about going from TLC to flash. So, uh, Matt, um, looking at just basic spotting techniques, when you were in the lab, you know, how did you go about that? What was your way to really do optimization? Uh, with optimization, I always spotted the reaction with all the starting materials and in co-spot. So if there was two reactions, it was a total of five spots with the reaction in the middle, one starting material on one side, one starting material on the other side, and then between each starting material and the uh, reaction, there was a co-spot in which both the reaction and the starting material was spotted. Cool. And would you ever use, um, when you were using the uh, little capillaries, is that what you used? Yes, glass would you, capillaries. Would you spot it or would you broadband it? Because I heard broadbanding sometimes actually helps give a better uh, resolution. Uh, always just spot it. Spot it. We were just trying to get a quick and dirty look at it. Thoughts on concentration zones? Uh, concentration zones. If you're doing prep TLC, concentration zones are very nice. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Prep plates are much thicker, and uh, if they have a concentration zone, what you can do is you can spot your compound and solvent all over that zone, and then when the prep TLC starts to run up, it'll all run together, and it'll start all together right at the start of the silica gel uh, on the plate. Nice. Um, any thoughts on when you, for solvent optimization, you know, that's always a little bit tricky looking at the best way to... You know, I think the first thing we try to do is get some type of resolution, and then you may look at how can I optimize that solvent system. Yeah, um, oftentimes what I do is I is I run my my TLC plate with the with the five spots on it. I run it in thirty percent ethyl acetate hexane, fifty percent ethyl acetate hexane, and seventy percent ethyl ethyl acetate hexane, and see you know where the spots go and if it. Even if the compounds were, um, you know, resolved with one of those three, if they resolved one of those three, I knew I could run a gradient of ethyl acetate hexane, and I'd be able to separate. Cool. Um, any thoughts on, you know, different types of compounds? I mean, you know, let's say you're using a more polar or more nonpolar compound. I mean, what was your thoughts on using? you know, a silica plate versus maybe a C18 plate or a, another functionalized plate? Well, um, I did a lot of heterocyclic chemistry. I was in the pharmaceutical business. And um, you can't, with heterocycles, you don't really have a good guide sometimes as to how polar or nonpolar things are. So if I run them up in ethyl acetate hexane and I didn't get any separation, I then move to, um, to methanol and methylene chloride. 
So uh, 5% or 10% methanol and methylene chloride is much more polar than the ethyl acetate hexane mixtures and will pull uh, polar compounds uh, up the TLC plate so you can separate them. And you can use those uh, solvents again for flash chromatography. Awesome. Well, listen, this is a quick little blip on TLC. On uh, a next run or a next video shot, we'll talk about taking that TLC info and put it on a flash cartridge. Otherwise, out for now, quick little ending lick for my buddy Narendra.